Show those teeth, baby. We just put out a, a popular video of, of testing yeah. micro tractions and the fact oh. that they de sheath ropes yeah. <laughs> around five and a half. And uh, people use it for top rope soloing and even belaying a follower up on things, but like, don't do that without knowing what you're doing. Uh, but a lot of people ask about other devices that don't necessarily have a lot of teeth, like this uh, Rope Man 2 from Wild Country. Uh, the teeth are a lot less aggressive. The rope used in this video is a different 10.0 millimeter rope than uh, the last video used. And so we will test in a center and the micro traction on this as well. So we have a baseline on how this rope is performing compared to the Rope Man. Six point two kilonewtons. Seven point one five. Ha. Huh. Oh, the rope man is worse. Worse. Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Bonus test. We found a device here in the lab that doesn't have teeth. It's ridges. It is, I think, what, a pencil shunt? This Gibbs. is a Gibbs not for self belay. <laughs> it's a Gibbs not for <laughs> self belay. Wow, went up to 11.73. Damn. Slipping. Okay, so what happened was uh, we got up to 8.78 and then it just kind of slipped and then, and then we backed it off. Tiny bit of sheath damage, but mostly just slipped. Yeah, I would, yeah, it definitely seems like it would damage a rope if you were really putting more than eight on this. Wow, that is actually kind of a noticeable difference. This was never used before rope. How's the Grigri? Grigri's jammed seems to be oh yeah definitely damaged oh yeah it's like science sucks oh. connection point here probably got bent yeah that would make sense uh i'll blow you on it if you know if you want i'd still use it <laughs> <laughs> let's test the rope man on a 9.8 millimeter rope And that's right in line with our other devices that we got in our last video as well. What happened? Broke the sheath. But it kept all of these intact in the middle, which is awesome. But it feel right here. That's what happens. You feel that? Yeah. See how warm it is? Yeah, it's warm. The thing is, is when this happens, you fall a significant distance and then this catches on the sheath like this and then you're hanging like 50 feet up the side of the titan on just core and then what actually happens is then you jug up just the lines to get past your knot that happens so 6.93 is higher than we were getting with any tooth device we were getting five and a half now in our last micro traction video a lot of people asked about a lot of different devices and we are going to actually test all those devices but i have the rope man here and i have this to dub in for things that don't have a lot of teeth and I didn't know if the Grigri would desheath or uh, would slip first. And we found out it damages the Grigri. Um, but I wanted to film something here in the new lab. And so I finally got the lights and foam done. And this is super good enough. And these prevent us from having to have tripods where we stand. So pretty nice to use this new space. A lot of the stuff we end up breaking here, though, is going to end up on the Clips channel. When I just do six dog bones or people send us stuff, that's going to not always make it on the main channel. So make sure you go subscribe to that if you like what we're doing here. A sneak peek to one of the things we're going to do is test uh, with this diverter. This is possibly going to be the diverter that we use in the machine. We also have this one down here, and that is to test uh, ropes at full strength or remove that variable that knots have in it. Sometimes I like that, but not always. And in this case, uh, I can test if carabiners being kind of pressed up against sideways, how bad that is. If this was a tree branch or if you uh, tied something halfway through, halfway up your rope, and then you pulled your rope down. Uh, is that carabiner smashed up against something round bad for it? We're gonna find out. Anyways, it's nice to use this new space. Let me know if you guys like these quicker videos, uh, if they are relevant to something I just put out. Thanks for watching. Cheers.